Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daisy DIY. Today I'm going to share with you guys an easy and beautiful Christmas DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. Let's start with the first project. I'm going to be using six painter sticks that I got from Amazon. So what I did, I just placed them first, all the painter sticks. And for me, it was more easy to grab the ruler and mark it with my pencil so we can give the shape of the tree and once I was done with my cutter I just cut the painter stick and the one that we're using in the middle I didn't cut it I just used the whole piece and once I was done with a piece of the sandpaper I just sand the edges of the painter stick and to paint it I'm going to be using the Waverly anti-wax I just did one coat and I just let it dry also I decided to paint on the back because once we place all the pieces together I know from the back it will show if it's not painted I'm gonna be using one wood crate and here is the item number just in case if you guys need it and to paint it I just use the same Waverly anti-wax I just did one coat and I just let it dry The next thing, I'm going to be using one wood cutting star that I got from Dollar Tree. And to paint it, I'm using the same paint, the Waverly Anti-Wax. I did one coat and I just let it dry. I want to give a try for this wonderful technique that Sammy from Unicorn does design. She just show us in a video and I will link it down in my description box below the technique. So what she did, she just grabbed a candle and she just rub it on, on the piece of wood. In this case, I'm just using the painter sticks and the more wax you put onto the piece of wood it's gonna give this distressed look and it's gonna look really beautiful so she got this technique from this talented friend Deidre from our upcycle life and I will link it down below her channel also so you guys can see this wonderful technique so it was my first time doing this technique and I really love it because I'm really into like farmhouse this and this technique it worked just amazing I did this technique with all the pieces of the painter stick and also with the wood crate and the star because I want all the pieces to blend all together and to paint it I just used the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white I did one coat and I just let dry all the pieces Here it comes the fun part. I just grab a piece of tape and I just place it on the top. And with my hand, I just rub on a few times and I just remove that piece of tape. And it was amazing how easy the paint it came off. And I just want to show you with that wood crate. I did the same step. This time I grab a big piece of tape and I just place it on the top. And again with my hand, I just rub on a few times. And once I was done, I removed that tape. And it's really amazing this technique. I love it. But please let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys tried this technique? The next thing, we're going to put all the wood pieces together and for that, I'm just doing a combination of wood glue and hot glue for a stone hole and once I was done, I just placed the star on the top. Now 
And I just want to show you, you guys can place the wood Christmas tree outside of the wood crate or inside. It's your preference. I decide to place it outside of the wood crate. And I just did the same step. I used wood glue and hot glue to glue it. I'm going to be using another beautiful decal and I just place it inside of the water and I just hold it for 16 seconds and once I was done I just place it on the top of the wood crate. I just remove the part of the decal really slowly and once I was done I just use a paper towel just to smooth a little bit if it has any bubbles and to dry it and to put inside you guys can use this Christmas picks that I got from Walmart. You can place a few pieces and I think it will look really beautiful or these other type of Christmas picks. And I'm just showing the item number just in case if you guys need it. For the next DIY, I'm going to be using the other side of the wood sign. So I just did the same step. I used the Restoring Chuck paint on color white. And I just did one coat and I just let it dry. And once it's completely dry, I just went over with my ruler and my pencil and I just start creating lines. And I'm just going to do three lines. And once I'm done with my finger, I love to distress the lines. I'm going to be using another water slide decal paper and I just show you how I create it and how I use the spray clear sealer to seal the image and I just place it inside my glass container it was a little bit smaller for this big image once you just leave it for 60 seconds it comes out really easy the image I just use a little bit of the water to put it in the sign and it works amazing because I just can move the image and place it like in the middle and with the paper towel I just went over and removed a little bit of the bubbles and to dry the image I just grabbed two pieces of the painter sticks I just show you how I cut them to the side of the sign and how I paint it with this beautiful red color the only difference that I'm going to do with this other side of the sign I want to distress the two painter sticks a little bit more so I just went over with the restoring chalk paint on color white and once they were completely dry I didn't like it how they turned out it was kind of like this pink color so I just went over with a piece of sandpaper just to remove a little bit of the paint but it didn't work out and the end I went over with the same red paint painted a little bit more because like I said it was like this pink color and to put the two pieces of the painter sticks I just use wood glue and hot glue. I just grabbed four pieces of this jute cord that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut it to the side that I need. So what I did on the bottom of the jute cord, I just tie it so it can have this knot on the end. I place it on the two holes that it had the sign so it can cover. I place the two pieces on the front and the other two pieces on the other side of the sign. I just start twisting the two pieces of the jute core and to hold the remain piece of the jute core I just use hot glue and once I was done I grab this jute twine and I just wrap it around a few times and I just cut the remain piece and also 
to have a finished look on the top of the hanger i just cut it if you guys don't want to recreate this hanger you guys can use the same piece of the hanger that it had the sign or you guys can use a piece of this plant hanger i think it will look really beautiful too I'm gonna be using these beautiful Christmas picks that I got from Walmart and I just use a few pieces to put them on the bottom and I create another beautiful bow and I just place it in the middle and also I grab these red berries that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut a few picks to put it. It was a touch that I need on the bottom. It turned out really beautiful. I love it but if you guys want you guys can just leave it without the greenery. For the next project, I'm going to be using this small sign that I had like a few years and I never use it, but today is our lucky day to use it. So what I did, I removed the part of the image and also the heart, and I'm using another beautiful free printable. I found this beautiful free printable on Google. So I just mark it to the side of the sign and I'm going to be cutting the extra paper on the side. And once we're done, I'm going to do first one coat of Mud Podge on the back of the image and one coat on the top of the sign and I'm going to place my image. Like I mentioned before, I love to do this technique because it won't have that many wrinkles once we do this technique and also i did another cut on mud patch on the top so we can seal that image and i let it dry completely The next thing we're using two painter sticks that I got from Amazon and I cut it to the side of the sign. I'm going to be using the two of the handles and I just did a hole in the middle so we can hang this beautiful cutting board that we're going to create. And I'm just using a piece of sandpaper just to sand the edges of the painter sticks. And to paint it, I'm using the Waverly Anti-Wax. I did one coat and I just let it dry. And with the same paint, I decided to distress it a little bit on the edges and it turned out really beautiful once you distress it. I love it how it turns out. And like I said, you guys can distress your pieces on the way that you guys want. I always love to do a little bit of the paint. And once I'm done, I go a little bit heavy. And you guys know if I go a little bit heavy, I go over with a piece of some paper and remove a little bit of the paint. That's how I distress my pieces all the time. And to put the two pieces of the painter's sticks, I'm just using wood glue and hot glue to glue them. And I just place the piece on the top and the other piece on the bottom. And I just glue the two pieces of the handles. I did the same step and I just glue them together. And I just glue the handle on the back of the side sign and I just placed it on the middle to reinforce it a little bit more. I just went over on the back with a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to be using one piece of this jute cord. It was missing something on the top of the handle so I just cut a piece and I just glue it. If you guys want to leave it the way it is I think it looks beautiful but I decided to use two small jingle belts and I just use the Waverly anti wax just to distress it a little bit more so it can blend more with the beautiful cutting board and I just grab two pieces of the jute twine and I just put them on the top of the jingle belt so if you guys want to place them 
in the middle or if you guys want to place it on the bottom of the jute core i think it will look beautiful too but i decided to place them here in the middle and i just glue them and this is how it looks i love it but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project For the next DIY, I want to recreate this beautiful sign that I saw at Dollar General this year. And to recreate this beautiful project, I'm going to be using one sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And to paint it, I'm using this paint that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And once I'm done, I'm going to put it to the side and let it dry completely. I'm going to be using two pieces of these painter sticks. And I want to show you the measurement just in case if you guys need it the long one it measure eight inches and the short pieces it measure four inches and to paint it i'm using the restylane chalk paint on color white i did one coat and i just let it dry And I decide to distress the sign with the same paint and I just went over just a few parts where it needs a little bit of this paint. I removed this image from the sign and I decide that I want to reuse this part and I just cut the parts that I want to put on my sign. If you guys are really good at drawing, you guys don't need to do this step. I'm going to be using this beautiful Santa piece that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be placing it on the top. You guys don't need to do anything with this beautiful sign. I think it's so beautiful already and to glue it I did a combination of wood glue and hot glue. And I decide to distress it a little bit on the edges and for that I use the Waverly Anti-Wax. The next thing, I'm going to be using these stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be placing it in the small pieces. I put Santa stuff here. To distress it a little bit, the pieces I went over with the Waverly Anti-Wax. I love to distress my pieces first and once I'm done, I go over with the Mod Podge and seal everything. So once we're done, we're going to place the piece of them, the hands and the bill that I show you that I cut. So I did first one cut on the top of the sign and I placed my piece of image and I just sealed the image with another cut on my patch. And now we're just going to place all the pieces together. First, I put the big piece on the bottom and I just mark a line to guide from the line. I just placed the three pieces and I just did a combination of wood glue and hot glue to glue them. I 
I'm gonna be placing the two buttons and these buttons I got it from Dollar Tree and I just use hot glue to glue it. I'm gonna be reducing these pieces that I had on hand. Dollar Tree is now carrying like so many beautiful pieces like just wood pieces. You guys can grab any piece or you guys have on hand like just to use it as a base so we can place our sign. So I just placed a few pieces of the jingle blocks so Ekin has this support art sign but I think it'll be better to use like a big piece so it can have a strong support. It works the jingle blocks. It did because it's the pieces that I use for my sign but I think it's way better to use a big piece so you guys can use like a screws so it can hold way better. I also use like a screws to put the pieces of the jingle blocks and it works just fine you know. And to reinforce it a little bit more I did a combination of wood glue and hot glue. Also once I was done placing my sign I just did another two rows of jingle blocks so it can has a little bit of more support the sign and this is how it looks our beautiful sign once we're done I love it how it turns out but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project For the next project, I'm going to be using this beautiful sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And here's the item number just in case if you guys need it. So the first thing, I'm going to remove the image. And I just want to show you how easy it was to remove this image. But sometimes they're a little bit difficult to remove the image. And to paint it, I'm using the Ristol and Chuck paint on color white. I did one coat and I just let it dry. To distress the sign a little bit more, I'm using the Waverly Anti-Wax and I'm just distressing the sign on the edges and I just distress it at the way that I want my sign to be. The next thing, I'm going to be using one image of this calendar that I had on hand. So I just mark it at the side that I need that image. I'm going to be using this Mod Patch to place my image and I just did first one cut on Mod Patch on the back of the image and once I was done I did another cut on my patch on the top of the sign and I just placed my image and with my hand I just tried to smooth a little bit the image so it won't have that many wrinkles. I decided to do another cut on my patch on the top to seal the image and I just did one coat and I just let it dry and once it's completely dry I just went over with the Waverly Anti-Wax just to distress the image a little bit so it can blend together with my sign. I'm going to use this nautical rope and I just cut four pieces so on the end of the rope I just tie a knot so we can give this finished look and to glue it I just use a little bit of hot glue I just place the two pieces together and I just twist it and to hold the four pieces I just grab a small piece of jute twine and I just wrap it around a few times so it can have this finished look on the handle I'm going to be using this ribbon and I just cut two pieces at the side of my sign and I will be using hot glue to glue it And this is how it looks our project once we're done. It turned out really beautiful this sign. I love the colors. But please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this project?
for the next DIY, I'm just using one sign from Dollar Tree and I just removed that image and to paint it, I'm using this beautiful Ristolian chalk paint on color white. I always love to use this color and you guys see me all the time using this color and maybe you guys are like, oh my god, Daisy, I gained the color. You don't have any more colors to show. And I just did one coat and I just let it dry. And I'm just using this beautiful piece of decor that I got from Dollar Tree and I just removed the hanger and where it has the holes I just used a little bit of the spackling just to cover the holes and I'm just using the same paint to paint it and I just did one coat and I just let it dry I want to show you this part. When I'm done painting my signs and the edges, I just grab a little bit of the paint with my finger and I just go over all the edges. I think it's more easy for me to do it. I have small brushes, but I just love to do this and I just want to leave the part for you guys if you guys want to try this easy step. If you guys use wet paper towel, you guys can just remove the paint and it will give this this look on the sign and it turned out really beautiful it was the first time that I did this technique and it worked amazing so if you guys want to do this instead of sanding it works amazing with a paper towel and my sign it was kind of dry not all the way so it was more easy to remove the paint and to distress it a little bit more I'm using the Waverly anti-wax and I just went over and you guys can see my daughter she always loved to show you guys like what she's doing and to distress it a little bit more on the top, I went over with a piece of sandpaper just to remove a little bit of the paint and it turned out really amazing once you do this. I'm going to be creating lines on the top of the sign and I just create a few lines and I just mark my lines twice so they can be a little bit dark. Once I'm done creating all my lines, I just went over with my finger just to distress it a little bit more. And I'm going to be using this beautiful free printable that I found on Pinterest. And I will link it down in my description box below the link. She had this wonderful, talented friend. So many beautiful free printables. So I will link it down for you guys this time. I did save the link so what I did on the back of the image I just grabbed my pencil so we can trace it and once we're done I just grabbed two pieces of the painters tape to hold the paper and with my pen I just went all over so we can mark the letters and to paint the letters I just using the craft wise chalkboard paint on color ink I only did one coat and let me tell you something it doesn't need to be perfect the lines my letters it was not that perfect but it didn't matter so much because once it's completely dry I went over with a piece of sandpaper just to distress it so it can blend with the sign and it turned out really beautiful And I'm just using the same Waverly Anti-Wax just to distress it a little bit more so it can blend all together with the other part of the sign that we're going to put it in the top and I will show you in a minute. And to hang this beautiful sign, I'm using the same hanger and to secure the hanger, I'm using hot glue. But I'm just thinking right now, I think it will look really beautiful with a piece of the plant hanger. And once I'm done, I'm going to be putting the other part of the sign. And for that, I did a combination of wood glue and hot glue. And I just place it. And on the back, I also, to reinforce it a little bit more, I just use a little bit more of the hot glue. I 
I'm going to be using these beautiful Christmas pigs that I got at Walmart and I'm just going to cut a few pieces and I'm going to place it in the middle and it turned out really beautiful but it was missing something else so for that I just grabbed these white berries and I just placed a few pieces on the top and this is how it looks our project once we're done it turned out really gorgeous I love it it's my favorite but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project For my next project, I'm going to be using one sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And the first thing, I'm going to remove that image. I always love to remove that image from my signs. And I just want to show you how easy it was to remove. But it's just my preference. You guys can use the bag to recreate this project. And to paint it, I'm going to be using the Restylane Chuck paint on color white. I did one coat and I just let it dry. I always love to distress my sign this way. I always love to do one light coat on the top and once I'm done I just let it dry for a little bit and I just go over again with the same paint. We give this wood effect to the sign. I just love to do this technique. So once it's completely dry I'm gonna be using two pieces of the painter's tape. I just place it on the edges of the sign. I wanna create this line, so I'm just using this color red that I got from Dollar Tree. I did first one coat and I just let it dry for a little bit. And I went over to do a second coat. And once I'm done, I just removed the piece of painter's tape I just want to show you the paint. It came off a little bit because under the sign, it still has this piece of the image. And I didn't remove completely the piece of cardboard. So that's why the paint, it came off. But it was really easy fix. I just went over with the same paint to paint it. And once I was done, I create another line on the other side and I just repeat the same step. Okay, and now I'll be cutting two pieces of the painter sticks and I'm just cut it to the side of my sign and I just use one piece of sandpaper just to sand the edges of the painter sticks and to paint it, I'm using the same paint that I got from Dollar Tree. I did two coats and each coat I just let it dry the paint I'm so sorry I forgot to mention that I did the same as Tape on the bottom of the sign. I just create two lines and I just show you how I did it. So I'm gonna be creating lines on the top and I always love to use my regular pencil and my ruler. I just love to do this technique because it gives this effect on my sign but it's just preference you guys can just leave the sign without the lines so once I was done marking the lines I just went over with my finger to distress it a little bit I just cut my decal to the side that I need to put it on my project so what we're gonna do next we're gonna place the decal I just put water in this glass container and I'm gonna hold it for a 
about 60 seconds. The next step I'm going to do, I'm going to grab just a little bit of the water to put it on my sign. So it could be more easy to slide that decal. So I'm just showing you how I place it. And with a piece of paper towel, I just remove if it has a little bit of bubbles. You guys can just smooth it with a piece of paper and we can dry that image. And once I was done, I just placed the two painter sticks, one on the top and the other one in the bottom. And to glue them, I just used a combination of wood glue and hot glue for a strong hold. I decided to distress it a little bit more design and for that I just went over with the Waverly Anti Wax and I'm so sorry I didn't notice that my lighting it was covering all the image. So the other thing I just used this beautiful Christmas picks that I got from Walmart and I'm just gonna place a few pieces on the bottom. You guys can just leave it the way it is but I think it was missing a little bit of this greenery so it can give this finished look and to hang this beautiful sign i just show you on the other project how to recreate it and this is how it looks our project once we're done i really love this two side project do you guys have a favorite for this one please let me know in the comments down below So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.